my only other notes about that were just about Miggy uh, coming one step closer to history, a couple steps closer to history. Uh, he had four hits so far this season, uh, including a, his 598th double, which nice. once he gets to 600 doubles uh, and he's only nine hits away from 3,000, he will be the third member of the 500 home run, 600 double, and 3,000 hits club. Didn't someone question about him being a first ballot Hall of Famer recently? <laughs> yeah. Didn't, was yeah. that on one of the broadcasts? It like, was on a it, broadcast, and I forgot where it came up, but it was like immediately. Was, was it when we were watching baseball together? Like Maybe when you were here? It could have been. And we were watching the Tigers training. game, and they said that... The Phillies announcers, maybe? Yeah. It was Kruk, oh, yeah, it was John Kruk. Because someone said... Yeah, Kruk brought it up that he's someone had question <laughs> question about him being a first ballot Hall of Famer. He's like, or about him being a Hall of Famer, and he's like, "What do you? Uh, yeah. What do you? Um, yeah, he, he should be, be unanimous <laughs> in a club with that only includes Hank Aaron and Albert Pujols. Once he gets yeah. the five hundred, six hundred, three thousand club. I so. mean, come on, guys. There's like, only going to be seven people that have ever hit five hundred home runs and three thousand hits. And he'll be the seventh. So yeah, I mean, so let's let's not. <laughs> whoever said that? I mean, the inner hall of the hall is that maybe <laughs> what they're talking about? Is he I a first know. ballot inner hall hall of famer? Jeez, who knows? But that's just asinine. We got any other tagging notes? Uh just one note about uh, Spencer Torkelson finally got his yes. first hit of his major I, league career today. And who said that was going to happen today? You did. I was, did. I got a text from you. You thought that might happen today, and I put up the prayer symbol, we, hoping it would happen. We should talk one thing about Torque. Uh, Torque and Hendricks, Hendricks in that first game, uh, mm. Torque strikes out and says, fuck so loud. Every mic picked it up. And then oh, yeah. Hendricks was so frustrated by his performance that every – thing he said especially coming off the mound at one point in yeah in the, in it, was picked up on the mic so it was I, it was not for kids comerica park has up, definitely up their microphone game because i can hear everything on the field this year there's a there's a uh, a fantastic number of expletives that are very audible on tiger broadcast now yeah. which i love so the, the thank frust- you the frustration of, of torkelson and you know what part of that frustration, though, was, too? And I feel like I saw this last year with Andrew Vaughn. Um, he gets a lot of rookie strikes. Um, they, yeah. give, they give the strike to the pitcher when it's borderline or even when it's a little less than borderline. Yeah. Um, he's and, been rung up looking a lot. Yeah, he's been rung up looking a lot on uh, several pitches that were not strikes, and it, it happened in the Sox series more than probably about at least three times I can remember. And I get it because I watched Vaughn last year, and you know they they Torkelson for the most part. You know, I mean, he obviously was frustrated going zero for four. He probably just wanted to get that first hit out of the way in the first game, but like he's he's held it together too because he's you know you. He's remained he, patient. He's remained patient, and I'm sure AJ Hinch, much like Tony Russo was saying, like you're gonna get you're gonna get a lot of bad calls because you're a rookie. They're gonna give they're gonna give the veteran pitcher the call. You just need to not let your frustration show. So kudos kudos to that because I watched it all year with Vaughn last year, and now that Vaughn had that year under his belt and like early in the early going, you you see those borderline calls already, like not always going against him. So I've seen a little bit of frustration, but mainly seen a lot of patience, uh, which yeah. I think at one point he was leading the league, leading the majors and seeing pitches, which is pretty, pretty impressive for our rookie. Yeah, exactly. To have that amount of plate patience when you're trying to get that first hit, that monkey off your back, you know, just to go well, forward. He accomplished that so. today off of Rich Hill, finally got off the schneid, broke up a perfect game. Of Rich Hill at the time, actually, it was only in the third inning, but I wasn't sure if you caught that when I sent you that text. But uh, it came off of Rich Hill, which I learned today. Rich Hill, he's a first with the Cubs back in the 15 years ago, a recreation yeah. project. He's played for like 20 different teams. At one point, he was with the A's, uh, now he's with the Red Sox. Uh, never knew this until I was listening to Detroit Sports Talk Radio this morning. Uh, Rich Hill actually went to Michigan, so there's there's a connection there at least. But uh, 
his nickname all along. And I never, never put two and two together. And I don't remember hearing this in Chicago or when he was in Oakland, but his nickname is Dick Mountain. Whoa. <laughs> and they didn't quite say it explicitly on the radio this morning. They called it, they called him his nickname DM. And then they said something Mount, Mr. Mountain. <laughs> and then I, so I pieced it together that his nickname was Dick Mountain. And I wow. was like, why is he called Dick Mountain? Like, what, what the hell? Where's that come from? Because of Rich Hill, Richard Hill? Or, Thank you. Yeah, You're much yeah. quicker than I was because I finally figured it out after about three minutes. You, you, were, you were about 30 seconds there. So, wow. yeah, Richard Hill, <laughs> Dick Mountain. I thought. And, of course, I looked it up on Twitter then. There is several accounts that are dedicated to Dick Mountain uh, trying to get his autograph <laughs> and stuff and everything else. So, uh, unfortunately, the I mean, Torque was able to get to Dick Bowden, but unfortunately the Tigers lost today. So that was the fun fact of the day.